Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab again. And uh, you may have seen uh, some little sneak peeks at the Fox ESS H3 hybrid. We did an eight kilowatt three phase hybrid install. We actually upgraded it to a 15 kilowatt unit because uh, we actually want a bit more capacity. It's actually running my uh, editing suite here at the Smart Energy Lab. Uh, and that was a piece of cake. Same form factor, same mounting, uh, basically plug and play and uh, just set the country code and off you go. But today I want to talk a bit about the battery systems. Now uh, it's combined with the EQ4800 battery modules. We've actually got nine of them in the stack, which gives us just over 41 kilowatt hours of storage in a footprint that's just tiny, size of a small hmm, two suitcase. I mean, it's, well, what's about that big? Pretty small anyway. I'll put the dimensions in the description. But I've got one here, uh, and I just want to talk a bit about the, the design of the unit and some of its features. So, as always, it's time to get into the box. Well, uh, here it is, uh, one of the stackable battery units of the EQ4800 series. One of the things I really liked about the design is the inbuilt handles, which also are locating pins. So when you're stacking these, because there's no cables, I mean, that's just too easy. There is just this uh, integrated connector, and I'll talk more about that, because it's got some special features which are gonna be really important going forward. So these integrated handles uh, make it really easy for two people to lift. Yeah, it's kind of heavy for one person, so yeah, definitely recommend two. Uh, it also has a um, pressure release valve, I think on the side here. So uh, that's kind of a standard feature on lithium ion batteries in case of uh, a fault condition. Uh, they can actually release any excess pressure. The unit here is rated at 4.8 kilowatt hours of capacity. Now that's not a you know feel good number, that's the actual usable capacity. So in this very small form factor, we've got nearly half, nearly, sorry, nearly five kilowatt hours of storage. That's pretty amazing. Uh, the energy density has got so good, so quick with uh, these batteries from Fox ESS. Uh, the unit here, um, if I turn it around, uh, as you can see, it's pretty skinny and it's gonna not take up much room against a wall. So very compact. It also has these very sturdy stainless steel and rather elegant looking feet, which uh, actually I don't have handy, but uh, they screw into the bottom. So the bottom battery uh, has the, the screw in feet, which means you can level. It's got quite a lot of level adjustment. So really good for uneven surfaces. Now I did mention the connector, so I should bring that back into shot. The connector here, which I'm gonna have to show you with an overhead uh, view, is got a couple of features that are going to be really important going forward. Now, uh, for those who are real geeks on uh, electrical safety, there's actually a requirement for electrical products to meet a certain uh, or have a mark called the RCM mark. That's kind of a uh, oxymoron because it stands for registered certification mark, but anyway, or is it compliance? But anyway, uh, the RCM mark uh, needs to be on electrical uh, equipment. Now the standard for uh, RCM is ASNZS 4417.2 uh, 2020 and it's going to be amended and the amendment should come out next month and the amendment is going to include battery equipment uh, in that uh, standard. So that means that uh, equipment like this, battery equipment, will require an RCM mark. It also will be at risk level three, which means it's got to be tested uh, by an Australian or New Zealand certified test lab. Uh, so something that's JASAN certified. Um, one of those tests is going to be that you can't touch any uh, conductive parts on the connectors. And these connectors are shrouded. They're, they're actually um, IP2X. That means you can't touch any conductive parts with your finger. Uh, and they also have no voltage on them, so they're de-energized. So when I put a voltmeter across them, I can't measure any voltage. So this is a perfectly safe battery, even when you're handling it before you assemble it into a completed product and put the BMS unit on top. 
That is so cool. Now let's get into the tech stuff a bit. Got to go and get my notes over here. Well, you saw the battery module being unboxed. This is the master module, the one that goes on top. And it's also a 4.66 kilowatt hour battery module, but with the BMS built in with isolation and cable connections and cable protection. I'll talk more about the cable protection in a minute. Uh, in the box also comes the feet because the minimum you would have would be one battery module and one BMS plus battery. This is the M unit, the, notionally the master. And uh, you also get in the package these wonderful feet. Now, <laughs> if I open these up, these are probably the sturdiest feet <gasps> I've ever seen. Um, what's that? It's about a 12 mil stainless steel bolt uh, and gives you a good uh, 20 mils of adjustment. It's got a um, non-slip rubber base and they look great. Uh, <laughs> that's really nice. So that would go on the base battery unit. So you get four of those, kind of ideal. And what else have we got here? Uh, we've got uh, mounting brackets. Now these are the mounting brackets for attaching to a wall so that the unit can't fall over. Uh, we've also got a, um, a, a termination plug for uh, RJ45 in here and some screws. And what else? Here we've got a, now this is kind of important, the bottommost battery will have an exposed connector on it. And to seal it, you place this connector uh, into the bottommost battery, so underneath, and uh, it will seal that connector. And it also provides, you probably can't see it, but it's a pass through. So effectively, there's a, a loop circuit between the batteries from the positive at the top, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, and then back up again, negative, positive, negative, positive to negative at the top. And that's how you get a relatively high voltage stack of, of, uh, of battery modules. And the big box is the cables. So they come with the battery cables, which are um, connect under here. Now, this is a cable protection unit that Fox CSS have made to meet the standard requirements of ASNZS 5139. Now I've said it in other forums, but there is no exemption from the mechanical protection of battery cables over 60 volts, DVC, B or C battery cables. There's no 300 mil rule when it comes to batteries like there is for PV. So Fox, uh, in their wisdom, realized that they needed to make a special uh, protection device, and that's what this uh, little clip-on unit covers the plug and socket connections and allows you to bring in some conduit to have proper mechanical protection. So cables, uh, more mounting brackets and a, a bonding earth wire as well in this box. So that's the that's the main uh, accessories but let me just talk a bit about the features. Now uh, as I said, maybe I'll put these out the way. I turn this around, around on this end, we have a double poled DC circuit breaker. So we've actually got uh, overcurrent protection and isolation in a IP rated enclosure on the master BMS unit. So that's built into this top unit here. The, the unit itself also has a, a display which gives you a state of charge uh, measurement so you can see what the state of charge of the battery system is with just a simple bar, bar graph. Now, I reckon that's one of the most important things. Uh, people love to know how much is in my battery. And so without getting out an app, you can just walk past it and I can see it from like 10 meters away. I can see how many bars there are. So I know, you know if the battery's half full or full. So that's really good. Now, the, I want to run through some of the specs. Uh, I mentioned before, each battery module is 4.66 kilowatt hours of usable energy. That's the one that matters when you're claiming the cheaper home batteries rebate. Uh, each battery module has a nominal voltage of 44.8 volts and 104 amp hours of capacity. That's how they get the 4.66 kilowatt hours total. Uh, a round trip efficiency of 95% or greater and you can discharge 100%. So you can use all of that 4.66 kilowatt hours per battery module. The life cycle, now there's ways of measuring life cycle. One way is just to say how many cycles there are, uh, so greater than 6,000 at 25 degrees Celsius. Now as a battery ages over time, uh, it will lose some of capacity. So uh, 
at a after 6,000 cycles, um, it'll have a 90% uh, depth of discharge at point C rate, and that will give you uh, about 70% of the original uh, capacity. So that's a normal characteristic of a lithium ion battery. Some degradation in capacity, but not in terms of safety. But a more useful measure is what's known as energy throughput. Now, energy throughput is basically how many kilowatt hours can you put in and then take out again. And that's the utility of a battery. It's about energy moving, energy shifting. Now, if I've got uh, two of these battery modules, which is the minimum you can have with the uh, associated Fox uh, ESS inverter, you get 39.92 megawatt hours of capacity or energy throughput over its life. So that's a lot, 39.92 megawatt hours. And that's with just two battery modules. If you've got the full height stack, which is nine of these, uh, so uh, eight uh, battery modules plus the, the master BMS with built-in battery, you'll get 176.94 megawatt hours of capacity. Phew, that's huge. So uh, there's communication with these batteries, which is, a, which is why they can uh, be operated at a high charge and discharge rate using CAN bus. And the uh, dimensions of the unit, well, maybe I'll tell you the maximum because that's what's really interesting. Uh, so the dimensions uh, in terms of width, uh, 570 millimeters by 380 millimeters deep, but if you stack all nine of them up, they're only 1.3 meters high, 1.352 to be exact. So yeah, about that high. And that gives you a total capacity, wait for it, of nearly 42 kilowatt hours. Yeah, in, in basically a 1.3 meter stack of quite compact batteries, all nine of them. That's what we've got here at the Smart Energy Lab. So um, it's a really, really impressive uh, feature. So there you go. Uh, I guess in summary, I would like to say that uh, the EQ4800 uh, series, so there's the Dash S for the battery module and Dash M for the, the master BMS plus battery, uh, have a LIFEPO uh, chemistry, so lithium ferrophosphate, the safe uh, safest lithium ferrophosphate or the safest lithium ion batteries are uh, lithium ferrophosphate with very high efficiency, full depth of discharge, long cycle life, IP65, so they're designed to go outdoors, uh, and the modularity means you can scale it to meet your requirement. So there you go. Uh, I'm really impressed with the design of these products, and I'm impressed with Fox CSS with coming up with a cable protection uh, a cover to meet Australian New Zealand standards. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hey, check it. <laughs>